This is your mind, body, and soul reading for September 9th, 2022. What we see here is uh, you and them in the circumstance, okay? This is you, and this is them. You see the truth. They are distracted. The thing about the chariot that's important to remember here is that although the driver steers, and it's the idea of the will being uh, directed, um, it does require the, the participation of the horses, right? Uh, without these horses, this chariot's going nowhere, okay? And you need to enroll them in that process so that this whole idea can work together. And he is um, not doing well with that. There's something kind of stopping that motion from happening. And now let's look here at the mind, body, and soul and how this um, is influencing the circumstance. What we have here is you, very focused on the past. And in fact, so much that you're missing the future and it's affecting your behavior. It's affecting the way that you um, look at the world. It's affecting your appetite for life. And if we look at the situation in the body here, we have death. And this is a very important card when it is uh, um, visible in the body section because it refers to not only the inevitability of change but that that change is very drastic meaning like the old way is gone so there's some kind of idea of um the body being in a position of, of a dramatic change with this connection um and it's it's self-imposed it's willing meaning that this is not something that is occurring to you it's it's a choice and now here we have in the soul or the spirit section, the two of cups. This is the card of love, right? Often people see the card of lovers as love. And that's, a, it's a different lesson there. But this card does represent that. It's, it's the idea of the soul, especially in its current position, in the soul position. Um, desiring connection. And that's beautiful and dangerous. Because we have to show discretion in what it is that we desire. Otherwise, we can give in to a side of us that does not have our best interest in mind. Um, and it's very good at winning that game. And that can, that can be damaging to us emotionally if we allow for that. And so ultimately, the lesson here is, is that this connection can take place for sure. But it's going to require a little bit of work on their side to finally be in a position to be in accordance with their will so that motion can happen. Basically letting themselves realize what's always been there and getting out of their own way. And in your case, you're going to have to show some patience, but at the same time also um, attempt when possible to, to um, enroll and describe in the truth that you know is there. Remind them of that. And the two of you together can do this work. It's effectively, the two of you together become the horses and allow the work to continue, okay? And now this death in the middle is important. That change, if it's willing, is one thing, but if it's being coerced through uh, a desire for something unhealthy, it's a bad thing. If you want to talk about that specifically, please give me a call or a text message or a direct message or email, and I'd be happy to discuss it with you further, okay? So otherwise, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.